Okay, so we are driving onto campus. Queens is in a part of Charlotte that's an older part. It's an established part. There are a lot of trees. There are a lot of older homes, um, but there's a lot of new growth on the back side of it. But as you can see, um, during the summer, they kind of take, take the time to be able to update part of the school. So this is one of the sideways to come in. We are going to get out here in a few minutes and the girls and I are going to show you around, but it is just too beautiful not to video. This is the way I come in every time I have class. And this is our, our parking. This is kind of a lot of our administration buildings to your right. But now I've got to try and find a parking spot. And once we get a parking spot where I won't get a ticket, we will get out and start our adventure around campus. Okay, so here we are on campus. This is the nursing building. And we typically have classes in the basement of the nursing building and then on the second floor is where our sim lab is as well as our faculty offices all right so this is the student cafeteria I have to be honest I have not ever stepped a foot in there um, because I'm a commuter, so I pretty much pack my lunch. Here is our library. So, right up there where those second story windows are is one of my most favorite places to study. You can see the water fountain, you can see the trees, the birds, and honestly it's quiet and peaceful up there and perfect for studying for any kind of exam or when you just need a little bit of a brain break with some privacy. Okay, let's do this. the second floor where our nursing program has all of its sim lab and offices for our professors. Hey guys, so we got back from campus and I have uh, made sure the kiddos have had lunch and so now I thought I would sit down and chat with you about what I have realized I needed and didn't need when it came to nursing school. So I will kind of introduce myself a little bit better than I did when I was in the car I am a mom of three. I have been married for 16 years, and we have a 13-year-old, an 11-year-old, and a 6-year-old. So you guys got a little glimpse of them in the car video, and we actually homeschool our oldest two, and I am in our homeschool room. Um, our youngest still goes to elementary school, and we'll kind of transport her into the homeschool world once she gets to the middle school grades. So I am actually a non-traditional BSN student and by that I mean this is not my first career. I am a licensed clinical social worker and have been for 
the last 15 years. Um, I have a BSW and an MSW, and I'm also fully licensed. And so the words LCSW also come after my name. Um, a little bit about me. I want to ultimately become a mental health provider. So um, looking at a DNP program in psychiatry so that I can, um, you know, really focus on my heart song, which is mental health and mental wellness in the community at large. So I have found quite a few really helpful videos on nurse.org. Um, they have been phenomenal in uh, showing that there are other nurses, other avenues of you know, if somebody doesn't want to do bedside, which I absolutely do, I love the hospital setting. Um, I want to continue to be at the bedside as a nurse and eventually as a provider. Um, the nurse.org website gave me a lot of insight into um, potential nursing careers as well as um, other nursing schools. I put I picked Queens because of its reputation around here, and also I needed something local so that I could stay at home um, or close to home. That way, if something were to happen with my girls, um, close to home. So, didn't want to have to drive far. We weren't going to move. Uh, we have a house. Wasn't going to go rent an apartment. So, um, that's kind of my story is the non-traditional traditional. So I do attend a traditional track. So I do uh, fall, spring, fall, spring, you know, that type thing. So I will graduate in December of this year. So December of 2023 and um, looking at kind of what jobs are going to be out there for me once I get finished. So again, trying to stay as local as possible because we have to consider, um, you know, our families and um, our girls and, and we just have roots here in the community that we're in and we really want to stay that way. That being said, um, I have realized three semesters into nursing school that all of that really fun, pretty stuff that everybody tries to say you need, I found that I did not need that. So um, I will go through some of the things that I did find was um, a really good thing to have. And you'll find that I'm a little bit more simple when it comes to that stuff. So uh, let's get started. Okay, first off, nurses are notorious for not drinking enough water, right? Like we were going nonstop. And I found that if I relied on getting water from the unit when I was doing clinicals or even when I was in class, then my water intake was pretty terrible. So um, investing in a good water bottle that, you know, is big enough that, you know, fill it up twice and you've got close enough to your goal for the day. Your kidneys will love you. Um, it stays cool just a good stainless steel sturdy water bottle is one of the things that I feel like are critical when it comes to being in nursing school and also just being a nurse in general. So water bottle is my number one. Um, to take notes in class, I really just took my laptop. Um, our professors would post the PowerPoints to our Canvas site and then I would kind of type notes out on that during class, but when it came time to prepare for the actual exams, there were two things that I loved, and one of those things is I am a sucker for pretty pens. So these are all paper mates. Um, I think there are every color possible in this bag. Um, and I think I'm on my second set at this point because that is what I use. Um, I think they write really well. They write really pretty. 
Um, they do bleed a little bit, but honestly, it's worth it. Um, that being said, the way that I do my notes is we've got the PowerPoints, but I tend to draw things out. So I like to write my notes. I like colors. I like charts. Those are my way of studying. So um, I appreciate a good typed note. However, for myself, I know that typing is not going to help me retain the information and I need to have brain to hand to pen to paper to eyes. There's this whole cycle. Um, and that took me a little bit of time to learn how to study in a different way than I'd studied before in my first semester. Um, but now it seems to work pretty well. It works for me. Um, some people in my class, they have different ways of doing that. And everybody's kind of got to find their own groove. So that one just happens to be mine. Another thing that I am a big fan of is I do love a good holder for my stethoscope, right? So this was a saving grace in clinicals. That way I didn't have to run around with my stethoscope over my neck, even though I feel like I look all snazzy when it's like that. Um, but I could just take a small bag because clinical sites do not give student nurses a lot of room for their stuff. Understandably so. We're there to learn. We're not there to like lug all our stuff. Um, so we would take small bags, um, kind of like this one. So I would have a small bag, literally this, um, and it would typically have my, y'all are going to laugh a little bit, but when I used to run marathons, this is what held my jelly beans. And I have found that it ha handles my cash, my license, anything I might need, and it fit very nicely in that little clinical bag. And I could just move it back and forth from my backpack from school into my clinical bag because there's not enough room for a backpack at those clinical sites, or at least they aren't at ours. Um, and this typically is my scissors or and my pen light, and I always have a rubbing alcohol wipe, a pen, a pencil. You know, there's some potpourri stuff in here. There's a, some girly things for if, if the time needs it. Um, that's just kind of where I stashed all my stuff. And it was that, my water bottle, and um, some of my lunch snacks. And that's pretty much all I took to clinical. So at clinical, we do, like most other schools, have uniforms. Ours were are this pretty blue. Um, so it's got our little Queens logo on it. You know, I didn't, I didn't fuss about it cause I do love a good blue. Um, but they're the Cherokee and uh, they're not the cool jogger pants. They're just regular scrub pants, but, um, they're comfortable and they fit fairly true to size. And then of course our name badges, we always had to have those. And I always had a couple of dollars on the back of my name badge just in case I got snacky during clinical. We had to wear black or white shoes. Thankfully, with our clinical instructors, these were actually okay. So um, I tried the the like the clog things, and those are not for me. Uh, to each their own. If those are your favorite, rock them so that your feet don't hurt. But this is what I used. Um, and sometimes I would put like a little cushy thing inside of them so that my feet didn't hurt at the end of the day. Um, so clinicals we had locally, um, they were pretty fantastic. Um, most of our clinical sites were very receptive to having students and so that was really helpful. That was beneficial to uh, myself and my um, student colleagues. So I, like I said, I will graduate in December. Um, so gotten through, um, you know, med search one, patho, farm, health assessment. Um, 
we have a pretty fantastic sim lab, which we have some newer mannequins and our sim instructor names them all. So they all have fantastic little names, but um, we've, we've been able to, to go to sim lab. We have a high fidelity lab and then we just have like a regular new skills lab. So that was pretty great to have, um, you know, um, Queens has been really good to me. Uh, the campus is beautiful. I feel safe on campus. The drive from my house isn't terrible. Um, you know, it's just, uh, so far it's been a really good nursing experience. Of course, we're going to have our bumps. Um, most schools are going to have bumps. However, my cohort has been phenomenal and we've all really gotten along. So I know that doesn't necessarily happen all the time. I think maybe we've gotten lucky, but I've appreciated my classmates and, you know, we're there for each other and we support each other. And um, I've been really proud of us this last semester or so because we've really come together to support each other and support our, um, our education so that we made sure that we were pushing to get the best possible that we could get. And so we've I think we've done a really good job at that. Um, I wanted to become a nurse because I saw that I wanted to be able to do even more than I was getting to do. I've worked in a hospital setting for the last 10 years as a clinical social worker. I have worked in mental health. I've worked in hospice. I've worked in oncology. I've worked in case management and recognizing that there is even more potentially that I could do, but in a hospital setting, the necessity to have a nursing degree to kind of move up to be able to make change, um, that's just how the medical model is. And so I've also always wanted to be a practitioner for psychiatry. Um, psychiatry is my heart. I love mental health. I love mental wellness. I want to do my very best to help kind of bridge all the brokenness. And I think seeking out a nursing degree and eventually a DNP in psychiatry is, is one of the ways that I can help make change. And through Queens, I, I'm on my journey. Um, I also appreciate the information that is on um, nurse.org, right? So they have different providers, different nurses, different programming. Um, they really have a lot of information that I have been able to utilize. And I keep coming back to their website again and again. And it's just, it's a great resource tool for nurses across the board. So um, I, I suggest that you do circle back and check them out because they're a pretty great resource. And they have a social media account, they have YouTube, they have um, just their website in general, and it's pretty easy to navigate. So I suggest highly that you that you check them out. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, I'm a non-traditional traditional, and I am so excited to be on this journey, and I hope that you are able to have an exciting journey too. And I wish you all the best. Thanks.